Greetings YouTube, I'm Master Moses, and having just finished watching Shadowhunters, the new TV adaptation of the Mortal Instruments, I felt compelled to give a few thoughts on it. The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare is one of my all-time favorite series of books. Absolutely fascinating. If you know anything about me, and Prince B can attest to this, is that I find angelology and demonology, I find such topics absolutely fascinating. The series was excellent, had very dynamic characters, excellent plot, kept you guessing. And then we had that movie a few years ago, which, you know, it had a lot of faults, a lot of people complained about it. It didn't stay very true to the storyline in terms of some changes that were made. And then they announced that because of the poor reviews that it got, that they were not going to make the sequel. Well, tonight, in fact, as of about ten minutes before I'm recording this, what was the channel normally known as ABC Family decided to rename themselves Freeform, aired their new show Shadow Hunters. The first season appears to be lining up. I don't know if it'll be a season per book or how that's going to work. But, uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm disappointed. Um, the acting was a bit rough. There was some chemistry, especially near the end, between Jace and Clary, but the acting was rough. The special effects were peculiar. Um, things like the Seraph Blades, they didn't call out Angel's names to activate them, they just would pick them up and they looked kind of like mini lightsabers. Not quite sure what was going on there. The There were a handful of plot changes, um, some that I guess are a little more forgivable, some that just don't make much sense. For example, and spoilers if you haven't seen it and you want to see it but you haven't read the book to know the plot to compare, I guess, then spoiler alert. If you've read the book, then there shouldn't be too many spoilers other than the changes. Rather than Clary being surprised by everything that happens around her mother, of course she's surprised, but her mother, rather than just trying her absolute best to keep everything from her, goes ahead and and gives her a stele. Now, let me see. I'm going to try to keep you from having any knowledge of this mystical, magical world. So, I am going to make you an immediate target by handing you an extraordinarily rare and powerful artifact. And I'm not going to complain when you take it with you to a concert rather than staying and letting me explain it to you. Because, you know, that just makes sense, right? There were a handful of other changes as well. For example, Luke is for some reason a cop here. I'm not really sure what the motivation was to change that. Um, there's the demons themselves are randomly more human-like for the bulk of the time and then they all of a sudden just change when you fight them. I'm not entirely sure the reason behind that either. It's just miscellaneous changes all throughout. Or Clary runs into Jace and they have a brief conversation before even going into the Pandemonium Club. Clary's mother, for instance, explains to her later on, finally gets a chance to, explains everything about Shadow Hunters and who they are before being attacked, rather than Clary just coming home and her being gone, everything being a ruin. She actually has a chance to talk to her and get a at least partial explanation, which told way too much in too far in advance. There were implications behind some of Valentine's lines and the few scenes you saw him that ruined 
aspects that should have been saved until later on. Nothing was said outright, but there were definitely some implications in some tone. I just... As a longtime fan of this series who has read every book along the way, spin-offs, prequels, so on and so forth, I just wish... Maybe it's naive of me. I just wish someday there will be a producer for a TV show or a movie that will pick up a book, read it, and go, Wow, that book was amazing. Let's put that on screen and keep as much of it true as possible. That would be just a dream come true. I, but I guess maybe that wouldn't sell. Uh, I thought the series was great as is. But anyway, this is Master Moses. For right now, I'm signing out. Thanks for watching.